just heard this music, um, it just it felt like it carried, everybody in the room had this experience where it kind of carried us away out of this, you know, conference room at the Holiday Inn out on the river in Missoula, and we were all in a forest glade with the birds and, the, and nature and the, the power of the earth, and all this stuff came out of this music. When I heard this, I was just experiencing um, what this music, the, 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 the feeling and the, the, um, the, the life that was in this instrument, this music, and I, I was just really struck by it. It was just like, wow, this is cool. I got really, you know, interested. That's when I first ran into the flute because Tony Shear carried an old Lakota uh, cedar flute that his grandfather had passed to him. And uh, I immediately wanted a flute. I go, gee, where do you get a flute, Tony? I talked to him after the... He seemed to have a real um, uh, instant relationship with me. And uh, so we started working together and I asked him, where, where, where can you get a flute? And he goes, well, you know, there's some in private collections and museums have some. A lot of them went over to Europe and there's, it's just pretty much, a, there's a few people that have them, but it's basically, it's gone the way of a lot of uh, uh, Native uh, American cultural uh, things, you know. And I go, well, shoot, you know, how do you make one? <laughs> you know, if I can't go buy one or I'm not going to, you know, sneak into a museum or something. So, you know, the only idea I had was, well, you know, here it is. How do you make the things? And he goes, I don't know how. I've never made any. But I said, uh, gee, Tony, if you would uh, let me spend about 10 minutes with that flute in my little laboratory ruler and my little back of my... Uh, pro, you know, my program for the educational conference, I'd like to measure out your flute because I know a little bit about them now, but I just haven't need a pattern. And he said, sure, go ahead, here. And I laid this thing, 125 year old cedar flute on my lap and got my little thing out and, and just really quickly measured it out and uh, put it back in the case and gave it back to him. Then I had this set of plans. And I found out later that I'm, um, I'm really the only person that Tony ever allowed to do that, to study his flute. He had been asked many times and uh, over the years about that, but he, ne he always kept it to himself. And he never let the flute out of his sight. In fact, the only time I think he ever let the flute out of his sight and all the time I knew him was when he gave it to me. I put it on my business card. My credo was everybody needs a flute. If everyone was playing flutes, they wouldn't, be doing all the things that they're doing that are not contributing to our our culture, our society, and our, our world and how we relate to each other, to our planet.